Hey, what is going on you guys? Welcome back to another brand new video on my YouTube channel. Hope you guys are having a great day and in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys my impressions on the new Dell XPS 15 2018 model which got released a couple of days ago and being an owner of the current gen XPS 15 right over here, 9560 and I think I can give you guys some insightful information about this laptop I can compare it with the new model and the specs and all that stuff and give you guys some information about what has improved, what has stayed the same and what has kind of gone worse but anyways if you guys want to see more content like this be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications and if you do enjoy this video or find it helpful be sure to drop a like because that helps out so much and it helps more people see the video when you drop a like and yeah, so let's get started with today's video. Okay, so the first thing that I noticed when I saw the 2018 XPS was the camera. So the camera placement went from being in the left bottom corner to the middle bottom. And this is an improvement, okay? It's a step in the right direction because Dell noticed, damn, our camera placement is just so whack, we need to change it up. And they did something about it, which is good. And I respect Dell for listening to their customers, but a lot of people, including myself, even though we love the near bezel-less display, the Infinity Edge display as Dell claims, we would love to see like an extra centimeter or two increased on the top bezel, but the webcam to be on the top. Because you guys have no idea how bad it is when you're using the webcam and people are looking straight from your chin, especially on this model, people are looking from the left side of your chin. But I mean, even if you're looking from the middle of the chin, it's still not what you want, right? So the ideal place is on the top and I would love to see it get there. And I hope that Dell finds a clever way like Doogee did with their phone. But I hope to see the camera on the top with the new model. So that has been an improvement, but still needs a lot more improvement. So that's something that I noticed. So the second thing is the battery life. So Dell claimed that the Xperia is going to have 21 hours of battery life. Now, if you have done research last year about this XPS, you would also know they said the same thing about last year. But I have the 4K XPS right here, and I can tell you for a fact that the most hours of battery life I've got were like 14 or maybe 15. But that was when I was greedy. So greedy in the sense I would have battery saver on, power plan would be on power save, uh, I would turn off my NVIDIA graphics card, I would put low brightness, I would undervolt my CPU, and I would just do all sorts of stuff to just really squeeze out the battery. But on regular usage, the battery life on this laptop would be about 10 to 12 hours. Now this is sort of good, I mean on a 4K display with the Core i7 with the 1050, that's good. And on the new XPS, it has the same 97 watt hour battery with more graphics, with more CPU power. So a Core i9 with a 1050 Ti. So if anything, you should see battery life going down. Unless their optimization has gotten a lot better, I'm expecting the battery to be like 9 hours. Or maybe 10, I don't know. But it should never be 21 hours. But it can be 20 hours on the base model with the 1080p screen and the Core i5. That's when I would see a battery life of at least somewhere close to 21 hours. But I don't think exactly. Maybe like I would give it a 16 hour of battery life. But anyways, that's they're kind of stretching it. So don't get misleaded by their statements or claims because these are done on like the lowest battery doing absolute nothing. So on a real life usage, you won't be getting 21 hours. So I just want to get that through you guys because just don't expect it to get that much battery. I don't want you guys to get disappointed after buying the laptop, so that's why I'm telling you guys this. So if you guys compare the Dell 9560, which I have with the new 9570, which they newly introduced, you notice that from the outside, except for like minor changes, it like from a distance looks kind of the same. It looks really identical and you don't notice much of an exterior change. But this is kind of a good thing because the design was anyways already good, but the performance is incredible. They've introduced the new Core i9 processor onto the XPS, which is amazing. That's like good standard right there. On this Ultrabook, that's just a high standard. I love it. And they've also introduced the 1050Ti onto this laptop. Now, this is amazing and this is a good improvement once again because the 9560 had a 1050. So going from 1050 to 1050i, you could consider that as a good step towards the right direction because they are increasing their GPU on this laptop. However, Laptops like the Surface Book 2 are having graphics cards like 1060, even though it's the Max-Q, I was kind of expecting the XPS to get a 1060 as well, but that's alright. However, I want to also let you guys know that I have had had the Dell Inspiron gaming laptop, so I had used the 1050Ti on the i7-7700HQ, so I kind of want to let you guys know that on a real life usage, at, at least to the stuff that I do, I've not noticed a single difference. 
but if you are buying this laptop for gaming you would 100% notice a frame rate improvement when going from 1050 to 1050 ti but if you're just using for video editing or just regular usage like i am you wouldn't notice a huge improvement from 1050 to 1050 ti so keep that in mind don't expect to go all crazy especially if you already have the 1050 on an xps 15 9560 don't expect yourself to have a huge performance upgrade if you do get the newer model so as much as i love the performance improvement that dell has done i want to mention that they have said that there is no usb c fast charging now this absolutely sucks because we are moving into the era where everything is becoming that universal device that can be charged by the universal port which is the usb c so it would, in a perfect world, you would be able to charge your phone, your laptop, your speakers, your car, maybe even the future with a USB-C type charger. But for some reason, Dell decided not to allow fast charging with this. However, I have read somewhere that if you use the proper voltage charger, even if it's USB-C, it can still charge. So I'm guessing that even though there is no USB-C fast charging, you can do USB-C regular charging. So I'm not sure about that, but I've heard people do it on the 9550 and the 9560 and most likely it's possible on this new 9570 that we're getting in a couple of months. But still, I find it that it's really annoying that they didn't allow fast charging. And to all those buyers who are actually serious about buying the new XPS, I want to give you guys this insightful information. So when you're on the Dell website and you're trying to buy the XPS, you're going to be given the chance to choose between a hard drive or an SSD. Now this is where you have to be smart. If you choose the hard drive, it's going to take up an extra slot, which means that your battery is going to be smaller. So when your battery is smaller, you're going to get a 56 watt hour battery, which will reduce your battery life and just it's not nice. So even if it costs a couple hundred more, definitely get the SSD model because since the SSD is smaller and requires less space, they're able to put a 97 watt hour battery onto the XPS. Now, I really respect Dell for doing this because they could have easily chose to give a 56 watt hour battery for all the laptops and just change the hard drive or the SSD, but they've actually given a huge advantage to SSD users, so definitely invest a little bit more into the SSD model because that extra battery life is worth it. And I hope that you take this advice because it's worth it. Even if you're not going to care about the SSD, even if that's not your priority, your battery life should be a huge thing. So when you have some parts that are like directly variating another part, definitely get the good model. Like even if you're on a budget, save a little more, just don't go for the hard drive model. Trust me, you're going to get better speed and stuff with the SSD and you're just going to get a bigger battery. So I don't know why you would choose the hard drive. So my final point is optimization. Now, as much as I love the performance, as much as I love the design, as much as I love everything about this XPS, the one that I have right now, and even more, the new one that just came out. I love it, it's amazing, and I recommend it to anyone who is in the market for an awesome, powerful, thin laptop. But there's always that bad thing that I have to tell you guys, like being a reviewer, I can't hide anything from you guys. And that thing is optimization and being an owner of the XPS 15 9560 and also being an owner of the Dell Inspiron gaming laptop, I have to say Dell has bad optimization. Now this is kind of like Samsung. Samsung also has amazing hardware, amazing design and everything, but their optimization is not exactly the best because they are running their different hardware on someone else's platform. So in this case, Dell is using Microsoft's Windows platform, but they're using their own hardware. So it's not really optimized together. But if you take the Surface Book 2, for example, that thing is designed and the software is also by Microsoft. So they are able to optimize the hardware and software a lot better than Dell is able to. So one good example that I love to tell people is if I open up the Surface Book 2, the screen would immediately turn on, like in 0.5 seconds, the screen would be on. But on my XPS right here, it would take a good four or five seconds for the screen to turn on. Now, this is not because the XPS is bad. This is not because performance is bad. It's because of the optimization. And you guys need to get that through your mind. No matter how good the performance is, if, even if it has a 1070 with the Core i9, the Surface Book with the Core i5 can still respond faster because of its optimization. However, this is only throughout the Windows interface and you can minimize this lag and stuff like I did by installing a fresh copy of Windows without the Dell bloatware. But even though the Surface Book 2 has an advantage 
from the Dell when it comes to little small optimization stuff like I just explained. During actual gaming or video editing, you're not gonna really notice that optimization difference. So really, it's not a huge deal, but if you are using this mostly for browsing and the casual stuff where you're gonna spend most of your time on the Windows platform, you might wanna look at the Surface Book 2 because the optimization is just, it's just so much better. It's, it's just like a Mac Windows is the Surface Book basically. And if you want that eco-friendly, you know, really nice optimization, then the Dell XPS is not for you. None of the Dells are for you, all right? Dell is basically Samsung in the laptop world. It's really good with everything, but optimization, it really can't do nothing about it. And Microsoft is basically the Google in the laptop world. They have good hardware and good software, and even with less hardware, they can do a lot better because of their software. And yeah, those are my points about the new XPS and my impressions and all that stuff. And the prices are starting at like 1,000 US dollars, so it is pretty good, but that is for the Core i5 model and it's not the best. So I do recommend at least try to get the Core i9 model, even if you don't get the 4K screen, try to get the Core i9, it'll be really worth it. And of course, get the SSD because like I said, it's gonna impact on the battery life, so definitely check out the SSD and this is not sponsored or whatever, but yeah, this is Tech Alpha signing out with today's video. I hope I gave you guys some insightful information and some good impressions on the new XPS 2018 model, the 9570, and being a current gen owner of the XPS 15 9560, I can definitely tell you that I can vouch for this product. It's one of the best products that Dell makes. It's really good. It's one of the best Windows laptops out there, a good competitor to the Mac and the Surface Book. So definitely, definitely do consider it when you're buying your laptop or if you're in the market for this laptop. And yeah, if you guys made it all the way to the end, be sure to drop a like and also subscribe to the channel. It would mean a lot. It helps out so much to the channel. Once again, thank you so much. This is Tech Alpha signing out with today's video. See you guys in the next one. Peace.